What's up guys, NFJJ back at it with another video. I hope you do enjoy and if you like NASCAR videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Also, simply liking the video lets me know you are enjoying the videos I'm putting out. Anyways guys, enjoy the video. Peace. Jeremy Mayfield, oh trouble, it's Blaney. Starts. Michael Waltrip and Blaney got together. There goes Blaney into the wall. There goes everybody. Yeah, Ron Newman's in it, Greg Bimple. 48 car. Half the field, it looks like. And the ninth caution of the day will be huge. 40, 41, 31, 0. When the leader restarts in the middle of the pack, this is frequently the result. Yeah. It's kind of odd. I almost bet you that this something like this might have happened. Oh, it's three. They're just three wide down through there, and Blaney's trying to give the guy on the inside of room, and he got into Michael. There you see Greg Biffle Boy, to the back. Of did Jimmy you see Cuff. the nine car shoot through there? Hard to believe. Wow, I can't believe he made it. Whoa! Whoa no, Ronald Ronald Johnson's, Johnson's out of it. Big wreck. Can't go. Big wreck going to happen oh, here on the front no, straightaway. Oh no, man! You are wow. kidding me! Ah. Oh. Did the one break? Next. Turn two. Oh, and nowhere for Tony Stewart to go. And you see there's just nowhere for Kenny Hamlin. They just keep wrecking over here. This is normal product of Dover. The, the, the concrete canyon. You just comes down the hill. Oh, right in the front of David Gilliland. You get another look at it, but I didn't and see that David Gilliland did anything wrong. He was right on the bottom of the racetrack. Oh, my Whoa, gosh. Bill Hamlin Lillard. came flying in there. Absolutely. Bill Elliott, the 21. You know, when you come under that, when you come out of turn two back there, Mike, under that bridge, down low, it's pretty hard for the spotters to see that point on the racetrack. Down into David. Behind him, one of the all-time best at Dover. Mark Martin up on that steering wheel, trying to reel in Edwards. Whoa! Off the wall, the two-car burst. Bush, and his teammate comes across. Oh, man, that was two for one. Both Penske cars taking out that one. A Jimmy, melee. Jimmy Johnson also gets tagged. The reigning series champion. Jeff Green, the 66 car, is in it. J.J. Yaley. Something broke on the car, man. It shot straight into the fence. Car again uh, from high above. Watch the contact there. Newman goes up down and gets the inside wall. Kane has nowhere to go. Right in front of him is the two car. The five car of Kyle Busch bouncing off a couple. It's like Tony Stewart just avoids these guys. I think he got a little bit of contact, maybe some damage. Now here comes Carl back on the low side. Oh, oh Carl he wins. Come on, he's sideways. Oh, oh now he gets the guy. Oh, oh, he's into the bar and the car is upside down. On the side is Clinton. Yellow is out, yellow is out, yellow is out. Wallace gets into it. The 14 of Bliss gets into it. Red flag immediately. Stop on the back. They want you to stop on the back. They are stopping everyone on the back stretch. He got loose or something. I just in the throttle. He got loose. I touched him, guys. Carl got loose right there. So did Joey. Joey's Joey out. Yeah, Carl never touched he him right there. Him. No, he never did. Wow. He never. He thinks he did, but he didn't. Yeah. No, he never touched him. So when they see the video, but look what happens behind. Eric Almarola does not escape this one this time in the 88. Yeah, so many good like cars Bliss involved Bliss, there. Yeah, had a great run all day. Ready. Battle Whoa, Whoa, John Andretti's John out. Oh, and Ricky Craven is around. And everybody else is on the brakes. Oh, Bobby Hamilton, Rusty Wallace Rusty, not in the fence. Car. Mark Martin is that. I see Dale Jarrett's car. It looks like on Terry the Terry Labonte, look at this parking lot. Wow. No contact. He just gets sideways right there. And on this racetrack, you're running so fast up off the corner. It's just hard. They make contact there. Ricky Craven hits him on the left front. That turns him sideways. And then after this, it looks like uh, Rusty may have... Uh, Got into Mark a little bit. Um, and then I don't know why Del Jarrett come flying up through there. Look at Ricky Craven in that Kodiak car. He's going to bring that car around. I don't know how Brett Bodine misses him. Huh. 
He's going to save it and drive it away. Wow. Woo. We'd like to say that's skill, but that... Now Hamlin has gone by Stan Bros. There's this leader's 17 car. The 16 to Biff. Whoa, big trouble. Crash. Out of turn four, big crash. Regan Smith involved. Here is the Rudiman in the Toyota. You all right, Regan? The toolbox, the pit road. It's the toolbox. The 18 of Conway. The garage, There's the contact there, the 18 and the four. Yeah, the 18 gets right in the left rear corner quarter panel of the four, turns him sideways, turns him around, and then all these guys, nowhere to go. That's what's so bad. We talked about this track, how it's got all the banking on the straightaway, and then you got these two walls so close together, there's just no nowhere to go. It's almost like wrecking in a back alley. Card ready. Call Summit now and say. Oh, May. Trouble on the restart. They just waved the green flag. Earnhardt, Rudd, and Hunt Strickland and Jeff Gordon are all in it. They had just waved the flag for the replay. Rick Mass car is a mess. He and Jeff Gordon tangled the back trying to avoid the melee at the front. Look. Okay, looks like Rusty oh. turns the 27 car into the three car. And Ricky was on the outside there. He ran in the back yep. of Earnhardt when he made contact. Well, Morgan Shepard got a slap there and got through it. So did Jimmy Spencer, Dale Jarrett. There's another angle from up on high. Yeah, this is after they're already going. And there in the back, Jeff Gordon and Rick Mast got together. Yeah. Well, that's just chain reaction. Yep. Nothing of it. No, oh, got trouble getting into three, guys. Joey Logano. Big crash. Oh, he's oh, upside no. down. Over and over, Logano goes between three and four. Oh, no. The car will come back to rest on all four tires. Heavy, heavy crash here on lap 32. See Robbie Gordon, Martin Truex, Reed Sorensen involved in this. I looked up, saw the 20 car on the apron getting into the corner. See the crew here, they're trying to see the replay. Now the window net is down. That's the drivers are told in the driver's meeting that if you are awake and alert, put that window net down so we know, the safety crews will know. There's the window net down on Robbie Gordon's car. This is the start going down the back straightaway. Really just kind of a stack up effect. Like was one of them got on the brakes and kind of forced. Yeah, look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash. Man, here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that there's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners. And when something like this happens, you, you really have, you make a commitment and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. Tony Stewart did a great job. Some others got caught up in. Let's drive along with Tony Stewart here. See it develop right in front of him. He actually got into the back of the 20 as he checked up. You know it's going to be bad right here when he comes up in front of traffic. Reed Sorensen makes the impact. Scott Speed got a piece of it also. The car is actually going backwards when it starts to lift up and go over and begin to tumble. Yeah, it's just being pushed, and, and as he kind of dug in a little bit and, and it was uh, continued to get pushed there, that's what got it up and rolling. And here what you talk about how high the banks are here, and you see he's just tumbling down that bank. There's so much height difference right there from the top of the bank down to the apron. Three stories, the difference between the top and the bottom, 24 degree banks. Just side over side over side, a violent impact. And the good news that uh, this new car that NASCAR brought on, what, three years ago, and the driver able to walk away uh, and walk. In Have a look at the number 16 Ford up top here a couple laps ago. Whoa, 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 baby. That, uh -oh. Big pile up back straight away. Oh, my gosh. Looks like 10 cars in it. There's Tony Stewart on Montoya, the 42. There's so much carnage, I can't tell who all is in it. Both the BK cars. There's Landon Castle. There's you Scott just saw Speed Travis Quapple. Scott Speed, the 79. Smokes car. Tony Stewart. 
Stewart side by side with Landon Castle behind McMurray. Whoa, they make contact right there, and that's a no no. Uh, Jeff Hammond just standing over there in that very spot, saying, you know, you got to really watch turn two. It's treacherous. By golly, he was right. Reagan gets by. Regan Smith spinning. Montoya down into the wall with Gilliland. And now watch this next group coming in. Here's where it starts. Remember, Jeff said these banks are self cleaning, everything slides to the bottom. But somebody turned Michael McDowell. And there's another pile of cars in it. We talked about it before the race. Things just happen so fast here at this one mile racetrack. You're coming out of that corner, Mike, at 150 miles an hour. And right, even when the spotter is hollering at you, way back there where you see that 78 car get sideways, you just can't slow down. Actually, it was a Scott Speed's car. Start, she's on the bottom of the racetrack, just can't move that car up, and cars are just going by on the outside, freight training her. And she lost about 10 spots. Oh, we got trouble coming off of two already. Now, Kenseth is around a hard hit. Kenseth took a hard hit. Oh, oh we got a car on the head. Donnie Nordberg in 52 goes tumbling down the back stretch and then in the inside wall. Solder involved in it, and that the thing about this racetrack is just we like, are destroyed. It's like a pinball. When they start wrecking, there's just nowhere to go. And you can see Donnie moving around inside of that car. It's Randy LaJoy in the 34 pulling away. Sauter in the one, Kenseth in the 17. Looks like Jeff Burton in the 21 car. Watch the 11, he drives down underneath the 17, the Matt Kenseth, he just touches him, coming off the corner. Kenseth does everything he can to save it, and then here comes the rest of the field, and forget it. Johnny Sauter got hit hard. We talked about it earlier in the day. There is nowhere to hide when trouble breaks out here. If you're behind it, you're probably going to be in it. Johnny Sauter goes to the bottom of the racetrack, and that turned out to be exactly the wrong place to be. Look at Neuenberger just flipping over the back of. See what? Big racing this time. Oh, no. Look Cal out. Crash Clint. on the front. Right behind us. Clint gets collected. Oh, the 98. Correct. And the Hang 99 on, of Trevor Bain. Some hard licks right there. McCumbie and the 09 also involved. I'm, I'm not sure Clint Morgan didn't spin the tires on that restart. Either that or did he, could he have missed a gear? I mean, it, it just did not go like he did on the restart prior. And the damage for Trevor Bain. Oh, and Casey Kane gets swept up in this mess as well. There. Man, hard. Oh, man. Casey Kane, just a wrong place at the wrong time. Paul Menard, hard lick. Another hard 99. lick from the 99. Pardon me, I introduced, said it was uh, the 20 of Denny. It was actually Casey Kane. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you did enjoy. The next video will be out soon, so make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss a single video. This is NFJJ, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.